Justice, bless the game. Now I'm seeking life elements, fortune and fame, but can't predict the weather. I'm um. Grand Rising, Grand Rising, YouTube family. Today is day three of the transform, transforming from within fast. It's crazy. I've been saying that for three days. I'm still stuttering. But, um, pulling the trash in on my first break here. I'm feeling good so far. Not even hungry. Um, anytime I do get hungry, I just kind of, um, kind of just pray. And that seems to always help. Um, but yeah, just touching in. First video of the day. Excited to get off and go on my hike. And just that fast, as soon as I said I wasn't hungry, stomach dropped. Grab it. So I'm going to spend the last 10 minutes of my first break in prayer. Um, you guys keep me lifted in prayer. Skin kind of looking decent today. You guys get to see the uncut, raw version of Mia on this fast. For the longest, I didn't pursue my YouTube channel because I felt like my hair needed to be done and retwisted. Lashes needed to be on. Eyebrows needed to be on fleek. But baby, look. I am who I am. And I'm trying to be beautiful inside and out. <laughs> Quick video um, in between my calls. Honestly, anybody that know me knows how much I complain and B-I-T-C-H um, about work and my job and how I dislike it and how it gets on my nerves and how my customers agitate me and on and on and on. Um, but honestly, this fast is helping me so much. Um, I feel like less irritated, less, you know, agitated by customers and their silly, silly questions. So that's what's up. Like a girl ain't been hating her job for three days now. Woohoo! Got out work late. Last call. They tried to take me there. But praise be to Allah because I had to rise above that. And I'm still feeling good. Niggas ain't blow me. Still help them out. They still left the call like, you know what, Drew? You was right. I know. But it's all good. On my way to my hike. I'm feeling wonderful. Feeling incredible. Hey, hey. Coming at you from the trail. Your girl had to run up out the door today. But there was nothing going to stop me from hitting my trail today because I wasn't able to go yesterday. Here's what we're hitting. I'm going to go where? Right here, up this trail, along the side of that mountain, down the side here, and back. Let's go. my part, y'all. Snow shower, you won't light up. Mountain, you won't climb up. Coming after me. Thank you, God. There's no wall, you won't kick down. Lie, you won't set down. Coming after me. And I'm still going, but I'm almost to the top. But I am quite tired. But I okay, I've made it to the top. Woohoo! Ironically enough, that's another one of my favorite trails, which is all concrete. I think this guy is gonna hit that one. It's a really good trail. Um, but it's interesting how this one connected to this trail. But the beauty of the mountains, time to head down. All right, everybody knows going down is so much easier. That's where we're going. Back to the car. Let go. Don't be hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't 
Oh, hey, I was with a little bro. That's mine. Let's mine. get these gloves. This is it. I did. Oh, no, I ain't got no paint. Breaking the fast with some probiotic juice. Gotta boost that appeal, says the baby. Hand sanitizer in the back. We ain't playing with you, Tony. Don't let our blues, but our messages go to you. I know you read and love this love, but you might bring fans to the slot. Mine's gonna take off. Today is the 10th anniversary that this young lady right here did cancer all on her own. And um, she is a manifestation of pure love and light. She really is. And, um, and she's got little horns too that we have to watch out for. <laughs> but um, she did it all on her own. And she did it with strength and grace and humor and lightness and she she beat it and this is her 10th year mm -hmm. cancer free mm -hmm. and this class is dedicated to you mm -hmm. and we're gonna move uh, we're gonna move into the heart and we're going to tap into these um and it's a very gentle i mean the beginning we get a little crazy but it, it's a kind of a ge more gentle class tonight it's a very meditative class this Kriya is to tap us into this power that we have, this strength that we have within us that we tend to doubt all the time. And there's always this, like, this, you know, I have to try harder, or I'm not good enough, or that person is better, or, you know, these, you know, these thoughts that, that are constantly subconsciously there. This Kriya puts you in a very, in a very gentle way, it softens your heart. And uh, your success is, you know, it's, it's so powerful and so beautiful. And so it's important that you honor that. And we're here to honor you tonight. Thank you. And, and she did it holistically, too. She did it all holistically. All the radiation that you know. No, no, no drugs. Yeah, she took yeah. sugar out of her diet. She juiced a hell of a lot. Yeah, at least. Yeah. <laughs> like it can come. Yeah, so that's uh, it's, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Discipline and, 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 and grit, right? And, and and passion. Right? The passion to live. And that's what we're all here for. This is our container. We got do uh, some good stuff with it. All right. So in Kundalini Yoga, is there any newbies? Oh, whoa! There's so many of you. So, I um, my suggestion to you, I invite you to you know to really have an experience here of just opening your heart. And um, sometimes we do these exercises that feels different. It's a very different type of uh, yoga, um, but it is. Um, very effective, very quickly, and do the best you can. Have fun. Don't take it too seriously, right? Don't take it too seriously. You're here to just absorb a lot today. Um, and we do some chanting. If it doesn't feel right to chant, don't chant. Just listen, right? If you don't know the words and you're like, what the hell are they saying? Don't worry about it. We got you. We're here to hold space for you. And um, when the movements feel a little uncomfortable, move through them with your breath. If they're absolutely undoable because you feel pain or your body doesn't allow you to, modify yourself. I will show some modifications, but you know your body, right? You know what, how you can get around certain um, angles and poses that, in order for you to be comfortable. A little discomfort is okay, but pain is not. That's all we're here for. In uh, Kundalini Yoga, we also practice with our eyes closed because it's an inward journey and it's a very intimate journey. It's an intimate journey between you and your God qualities. 
So you're really going to tap into this profound, deep love for yourself, for your higher self, for the, the teacher in you, this creative force, this, this, this beautiful, blissful, you can't put words around it, okay? So I want you to really tap into that. And then, um, just like that. Sweat a little bit. Maybe don't sweat. If you feel that the exercises are moving a little too fast for you, it's okay. Slow them down. It's your rhythm, your soul's dance. It's how your soul wants to be in this moment. Okay? We start with the Adi Mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo. It's, I ba I'm bowing down to that creative, beautiful wisdom within me. I'm bowing down to the teacher within me. And um, this is a mantra that we give at the beginning of every Kundalini Yoga class to tune us into this golden chain of these beautiful ancient and, and this lineage of teachers before me that are going to come after me and are here with us now. And it just holds the space for us, this safe, beautiful space, taking us to a higher consciousness, con con connecting us vibrationally. And we have to look, look, look. We rub our hands together quickly and we feel a little heat. This is creating some heat between the palms, bringing the hands in prayer, it's bringing balance to our right side and our left side and bringing those two energies together at the heart. So plug the thumbs into the sternum or the heart sternum. Have the elbows out, out parallel to the floor. Have the fingers pointing up towards the head and sit straight at the perfect field. If you can't cross your knees, it's okay. Send your legs out before you. And try to find the lift, right? So try not to slump into that low back. I want you to lift up. Lift the heart a little bit. Tuck the chin slightly, tap the back of the neck down. And it almost feels like someone's pulling you up towards the heavens with a string attached to the very top of your head. So you're finding length. Sit very still. Bring the knee the neck. Close the eyes. And roll the eyes up to that brow point between the brows. You're going to really feel some pressure there, activating the pituitary gland and then the pineal gland. Relax the jaw. Inhale through the nose. And hold the breath at the very top and have a slight pull at the rectum, the sex organs, and the navel. Just a slight one right now. Not too crazy. Pull everything up and in. Squeeze. And hold the breath. Don't let it go. Exhale out the mouth. Gentle. Gentle. And do it again. Inhale through the nose. <coughs> Inhale deeply. Fill the belly up. And then lock it in. So pull on the mula bandha, that internal lock at the base of the spine. Pull. And feel the energy going up. All the way up the spine. Hold the breath, don't let it go. And then exhale. Do that one more time. Inhale through the nose. Hold the breath, suspend the breath, and let all that beautiful energy circulate. So visualize this golden light just circulating throughout the body, filling up every crevice, every nook, every curve. Hold the breath. Excellent. And on the next inhale, we'll begin the Adi Mantra. Oh. That's it for today, family. 
Thanks for tuning in. Tell yourself every day I am powerful and I can do anything. Tune in tomorrow for another day of transformation. Peace.